Hey guys, Darren here. It's a tough video. Well, the greenhouse chicken coop caught on fire and everything burned up. All the chickens died and the ducks. Everything that was in here is gone. Um, those are the nesting boxes. We think that it started from the hot white lights for the uh, tropical plants that we had in there. They were down this side. The fire started on this side. Uh, I got home late Wednesday night and uh, we did our stuff. I came out here and fed them and gave them a loaf of bread and a bunch of scoops of uh, feed and everybody was fine and give me the stink eye for waking them up and I left the back door open because it wasn't terribly cool and uh, had the lights on the, on the timer, the, the grow lights for the plants and I got up about one Tucker was barking a lot, and uh, it was uh, an urgent bark, so I grabbed my gun and came around and looked through the back window uh, in the kitchen, and uh, the coop was on fire. Came out, uh, grabbed the fire extinguisher, came out, and put it out, and it was burning from this side over pretty good, and I used the fire extinguisher till it was exhausted and I was gonna try to get to the front door but I couldn't and so I grabbed the hose and turned it on and by then it was just too late it was all completely burned um you know damn shame a lot of people complained and uh, said I was crazy to put all the uh, the, light, the lights in there for the uh, the heat lamps and everything but those were also for the uh, uh, the plants because it was a greenhouse and we we're keeping all of our our tropical plants in there and uh, so you know it's a damn terrible lesson to learn on my part more to come so um, as luck would have it I've tried to call the insurance company to uh, go ahead and file a claim because we had a lot of stuff in there as far as the grow lights. I know they're going to say the chickens are just poultry and not going to do anything about the chickens. But um, I had a bunch of expensive uh, grow lights and all that stuff. Some of the tools and some other stuff. Uh, I had my pump, uh, the creek pump, because I was getting ready to uh, put the pump house up here. And uh, just, just a bunch of stuff. Luckily, I was able, uh, like last weekend, the chickens were pooping so much on my, uh, that Generac generator I kept out here. I pulled it back down and uh, put it in another building. Or that would have been, you know, another $500 gone right there. So it really sucks. We hate it. Um, they were at the age where they were about to start laying. And I posted some stuff on Facebook early Thanksgiving morning. And I waited to do this video until after Thanksgiving because it was just sucky. No, it was just bad. Uh, we were going to cancel all the stuff for Thanksgiving, uh, but we ended up having about 15 people over and we were cooking for them because a lot of people didn't have places to go for the holidays. And so we had everybody over and uh, that was really tough because uh, it was just bad. Hooch took it pretty hard. I did too. I know they were just meeting egg birds, but, you know, they were ours, and we'd gotten attached to them. Hell, they ate birthday cake and watermelon. They had it good while they were here. More to come, guys. So, that's about it. We definitely are going to get more birds, uh, and pretty quickly, uh, as soon as I'm able to. I've got another greenhouse on the way. Over here, it's the one that you've seen in the previous videos, and... Uh, got it 
separated and I'm gonna get it loaded up and hopefully have it over here next weekend. Um, Tucker, I have to say, Tucker did really good about letting everybody know the fire was coming, the kick in the butt is uh, it was wired to the house and uh, it popped the breaker in the house. If it didn't pop the breaker in the house, you know, it could have just uh, arced and uh, caused a fire in the house. So we're really thankful, even though this was uh, terrible, nasty, horrible, and tragic. Could have been a lot worse. It really could have been. So um, I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day, and he was having a lot of health problems, and he says, I'm trying to learn the lesson from this and I laughed at him I told him hell you're a better man than I am I just suck it up and take a Percocet and he said no no he said you gotta try to find what's the lesson in this so you can learn it to go from it so it's kind of what we're struggling with and uh, we'll get everything situated we did find some of the plants and uh, as well and so we're going to separate them. They have a lot of sentimental value. They were from, from Shauna's dad, dad's funeral and her sister's funeral. So that was one reason why we had them in the greenhouse to, uh, you know, keep them. And we've had them for five, six years now. But uh, we'll drag the greenhouse back here. We are going to do a coop. I don't know if we're going to do them together or not, um, but we're going to do something. I'm really glad the fire or the coop was pulled away from the house where it is now because it was a big blaze. Uh, that was a lot of fire. I had no idea. Of course, there was bales of hay and fertilizer and, you know, 10 by 10 by 10 fiberglass building and uh, just a bunch of stuff in there and it was quite flammable. Um, so that's about it. Uh, we're just going to wrap it up now. Like I said, it's the day after Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a good time. And uh, they had some good turkey and had some good fellowship with their friends and their families. Take care of you people, guys.